Welcome, everyone, to the sold-out Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California. It's the home of the Lakers, where we're broadcasting live today for 2K Sports. Our starting lineups will look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. One of the guys we'll be watching out for today, lights out. Well, at any time of the game, Kevin, he's a player they can depend on. Always has his head on straight, understands clock and scores. Really got a good head for the game. And Steve, he's also the player they rally around at the defensive end. I mean, they cause some real havoc when he's out there running the show defensively. Looking at the Lakers, they took the win in their last game against the Bulls in Chicago. And just one look at the score tells you all you need to know. They were dominant in just about every area. That was a game in hostile territory, too, guys. And uh, it seemed like they had confidence right from the beginning, unbothered by being on the road. And, you know, their shots were falling. From the top to the bottom of that lineup, their guys were heated up. Mavericks checked in for clutch. On defense, the Wizards. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. They set the pick. Prime time, the pass to Kobe. Lock at six, Anthony. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And in the 2011-2012 season, Melo had a down year from behind the arc. Shot a career low, but he bounced back last year, guys. Definitely made him a more dynamic offensive threat, knocking down threes at a much better clip. And for Carmelo Anthony last season, by far a career high in three-pointers attempted. Well, he's capable of making shots from out there, for sure. That, this was really a, a big part of the strategy for the Knicks offense. They wanted to spread the floor with him at that power forward spot. And if he had a bigger player guarding him, he could either take him outside for those threes or use his quickness to go right around him. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hey, Kevin. Well, Mike D'Antoni had a few minutes for me. He knows one of the hardest parts on scoring against this defense has to do with their prolific shot blocker, Serge Ibaka. He told me he's one of those guys who can get your head a little bit because he's so mobile. You often don't see him coming. And Kevin, you add in his great rebounding and ability to hit from mid-range, and he's always an X-factor for them. Back to you. Thanks, Doris. The defense sagged off, and, you know, he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three. So much of what ailed the Lakers could be traced to the lack of defensive presence, and it really came to a head when Magic Johnson, one of the greatest Lakers of all time, called them out about looking to play showtime offense while not paying attention to solid defense. Now Kobe, after the missed three from Doc. Here's Insanity. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Chicago. And Kevin, don't forget about his playmaking in that game as well. He was wonderful in terms of attacking the defense and figuring out when to shoot and when to find teammates. And going back to what Clark said, they didn't actually try to run that much based on tempo, more than what they might have been used to, certainly, Steve. But the D was a concern in a major way. Well, it was really more about teams running wild on them instead of the other way around. You look at the Laker personnel, big front line last year with Howard and Gasol. Uh, the transition defense wasn't quite there. You throw in the injuries. But they were never able to find that balance between good offense and solid defense. And with the defense playing that well, the double clutch was the only way he was going to get that ball off. Washington calls timeout. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent, but hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. And here is Los Angeles now after the three-pointer from Clutch. Kobe draws the double. Pass to prime time. Elbow shot. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Well, his body control is what I noticed. I think that jumps off the page when you watch him play, even with a defender draped all over him. He's able to find a way to get to the rim and get the shot to go in. And you know what, Steve? We also have to talk about his shooting. I mean, 
The fact that he coached with tight D better than anyone is something to make note of. His percentage stays the same, and if he's wide open, he's automatic. Here's Incendi. Fades back. It's rebounded by Delfino. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. Like some serious agility coming out of the backcourt. You know, that bucket might count for a little more than two points when he finishes <laughs> with that kind of flourish. Yeah, against a D that was already reeling a little bit. That was like a body blow. Now here's Kobe. He's coming off a 22-point game against Chicago. Passes it to Clutch. He dishes it to Delfino. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Lakers trail by eight. Kobe passes to prime time, and it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. Well, if you believe that a point guard's defense is just as important as his offense, then these guys have been outstanding lately. The point guard steal leaders for the past ten games. And you look at Clutch, always dangerous on the court. He leads the league. And, of course, Maverick. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Losing 12 straight to start the season for the Wizards, just ominous, and through 20 games, the worst start in franchise history. But once they got back to health, they showed they could compete with anybody. And the Wizards making a change here. Kobe, that's for two. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Kobe's got his second bucket tonight. And a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. The Wizards working the ball around now. There's the pass to Long. No good from outside. When you start out like the Wizards did last year, it's easy to get down on yourself and give up on the season. But you know what, Steve? They showed a lot of fight and never bowed their heads. Got to give a lot of credit to Randy Whitman for keeping the ship uh, afloat after that tough start. And I like the fact that they added some veteran guys a season ago that I think added to the character of this team. But it's an interesting group, no doubt. Lakers trail by five. Wall passes to prime time. The feed to Carmelo. Defended by Long. Leads away. And another basket for the Lakers. Wizards have gotten six of eleven shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Back to win. Pass to clutch. He feeds it to Green. Barry's the long range jumper. Green's got himself on the board with three there. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Kobe kicks the wall. And the rejection by Ibaka. Rebounding's going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. Kobe against Land. Kobe dishes the wall. Ariza. All three off the mark. Here's Ibaka. Shot misses. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Wizards lead by eight. Friday, December. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Well, they've definitely had the hot hand from the three-point line so far. Always nice to start out like that. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Taking a look at the Lakers. Andrew Nicholson out there with Trevor Ariza. Then there's Nick Young, and it's prime time, and it's Wall in at the point. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Guys, John Wall may be the fastest player in the league, but it's been his outside shot that's held him back from becoming a superstar. He said in his younger days, he never needed to shoot from outside and added that if he did, he shot it, quote, like I was a lights-out shooter. Fade away, no follow-through. In other words, he made the shot more difficult than it had to be. Now, he says, the main thing for me is using my speed and shooting on the way up. Guys, he's put a lot of work into his shot, and we're starting to see the results. Well, as his shooting comes along, that's a great way for him to really find his niche, Doris. Thanks. 
So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, something that he maybe doesn't get enough credit for is just how good he is at drawing charges. I'm glad you brought that up, Steve, because very few players do get credit for it, and you're exactly right. He does do it very well. There's no fear in this fella. He'll give up his body in a minute. Here's Maverick. 17 points for him last game against Miami. Dishes it to Oladipo. From outside, off the mark. Well, it was rather on the down low, but a very nice rookie season for 6'9 big man Andrew Nicholson out of St. Bonaventure. He didn't start playing basketball until the 11th grade guy. But you never guess it from his well-rounded offensive skill set. Clark, you mentioned the offensive gifts of Andrew Nicholson. Range out his jump shot. Maria moves inside. He, he comprises a nice little package. Yeah, he's going to be an interesting player. Very creative offensively. He's got a soft touch with that jump hook. And you mentioned the ability to, uh, to shoot from range. Stolen. Here's Oladipo. Oh! Tore it down that time. <laughs> and this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Now here's Beaubois. Young outside. Back to Beaubois. Four on the clock. A three ball. And that one's good. Well, Barnes got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Well, I tell you what, guys. The Wizards were a volatile team last year. At times, they looked really good. Other times, they looked terrible. And that happened throughout the season. One place where they consistently looked better than their record was when they played against the Western Conference. And Washington making a change here. Serge Ibaka has checked in for lights out. Clutch comes in for Doc. Daniel Green, he's checked in for Oladipo. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Maverick. Bobois, the pass to Nicholson. Gets to the rim for two with the T all over him. And going back to the Wizards playing against the West for a moment, they were relatively one of the strongest teams, Steve, in the East when playing Western Conference opponents. Pretty interesting stat, isn't it? 14 and 16 against the West, which may not sound like much, but hey, that qualified for fifth best record in the East. Uh, so this is a team that uh, really started to play well down the stretch and, and play well against good teams, too. The Wizards making a switch here. Perkins has checked in. And Bobois kicks to Temple. Feeds it to Nicholson. Shoots from 12. And another basket for the Lakers. Wizards leading by four. The shot's good from Clutch. Clutch has got 12 in the game. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Oh, get it! Oh, watch out now! Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's showtime. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. The Wizards working the ball around now. Bobois against Lynn. Goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. You know, they're being very one dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Prime John's checked in for Andrew Nicholson. Prime John comes in for Vessel. Carmelo Anthony is checked in for Nick Young. And it's insanity in for Garrett Temple. Here's Insanity. Anthony kicks to Bobois. Pass to prime time. Here's Insanity. Good. Insanity's got his second bucket of the game to go. Shooting much better here in the second quarter. Yeah, their offense has really come alive. Can they come? Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a huge 
play. Just floating to the rim on that slam. Boy, when he gets up, he gets up and oh. stays up. Boy, smooth and graceful. How about the hang time? That's impressive. That's a poor possession. You just give away the ball with a sloppy pass. Carlos Delfino's checked in for Washington. Fires from the wing. Lynn's shot is off. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with him. No good from Nguyen. He got the shot he wanted off that pick, just couldn't get it to fall. But Steve, they'll take that play all day long, 10 times out of 10. That was good action. Lakers trail by 11. Outside Anthony, lets it go with a three. Rebound, Washington. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had earlier. You know, he started out hot, and he's only gotten hotter. He, he could be in for one of those games. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And there's the rejection. Now eight seconds separating the two blocks. Here's Beauvoir. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. And Washington making a change here. Novak's checked in. 26 seconds left in the first half of the game. Beyond the arc, no good. Lakers have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second, five to ten. Now that is a quick bucket, pretty good in transition. That's right, that's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. It's stolen by Anthony, and it's the Lakers on the break. And there's the pass to prime time. Outside Anthony, with the fadeaway. And this is what it kind of had it gone in. And that concludes the first half. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Hello, everyone. I'm Damon Bruce, and the NBA season is really getting into gear. Washington leading against Los Angeles. They're on a winning streak and look well on their way to adding another W. Clutch putting on a clinic against Los Angeles. Seems like everything's falling for him. Not sure if he even knows how to miss. For the Hawk, the Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And as we resume, a beautiful nighttime view of Los Angeles, and in blue there, our venue, the Staples Center. What can you say, Clutch, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, he played a very mature first half offensively, just finding gaps and making good decisions, getting into the defense and knocking down shots. Well, the way he played that first half, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency. So on the floor for Washington, they've got Doc. Russell is out there with the bucket. Then there's lights out, and it's clutch in at the point. Anthony drives in. Again, the miss by Anthony. Washington leading now by 11. Well, a coaching carousel for the Lakers uh, last season. They made it only five games before firing Mike Brown. Then they decided to go in a new direction. And, uh, yeah, they went through three different head coaches before all of a sudden. And they never really were able uh, to gain that consistency they were looking for. Here's Clutch, defended by Nguyen. Here's Long. And again, Washington, no good. And offensively, they have yet to hit a shot. Slow start here to the second half. The drive by Anthony. And it's Anthony again missing. And back to the Lakers' struggles last season. What do you think, Clark, were the main problems that, you know, held them back from being the kind of title contender that they thought they were and, and a lot of people imagined they were? Well, how much time do I have? <laughs> Three or four shot clocks worth? I mean, I think there were a number of issues, as you might expect. Injuries played a significant role, but I think there was discord over how they should play. Really no true identity. They were a big team trying to be small. A team without a number of shooters trying to spread the floor. Older team trying to go up tempo. Coaching change. Coaching and that change, transit. right, yes. We had a lot of moving parts. And it made it very difficult for everybody, I think. And it showed in how the Lakers' season went. That's a good assessment. You know, he can be a little awkward with the ball sometimes when it's in his hands, but not that time. Why do you think it is we don't see more of those out of him, Steve? I don't know. I mean, he's certainly got the size. He just lacks the confidence, I think, sometimes near the basket. And the Lakers call time here. Look at Clutch. He's really been playing well. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way they got to figure out how to contain him. 
So for the Wizards, Novak's checked in, and it's Oladipo in for lights out. As we get a break in the action, let's take a peek at the team scoring leaders. The Lakers, number one. Yeah, they did a great job last year of sharing the ball, pushing the ball in transition, and really spreading out the scoring, and they were very productive as a team. You know, it's interesting. Kobe, the last few years, has gotten very loose with his opinions. He's not afraid to, to say it like it is. And uh, I think one of the inflammatory remarks he made that, that caught a lot of attention was he, when he mentioned that the Olympic team uh, back in 2012 was better than the 92 Green team. Lakers trail by nine. When the pass to prime time. The dish to Carmelo. Defended by Novak. Let's it fly. And again, it's Carmelo Anthony. Anthony's got 11 points. And that was a bold thing to say going back to Kobe. Definitely got the media talking, Clark, about you, know, you get the feeling he actually believes that they were better. You know, he might have been right. He might have been wrong. I mean, I think it comes back to the fact that Kobe has no problem saying things that might not be easily received. I'm not sure why anybody is surprised by that. I mean, you don't get to be an elite player without having very high confidence in your ability and your team's. Win. No good on the three. The Lakers have gone three or six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. And there's the foul. It's on clutch. That's foul number two for him. Some changes for the Lakers. Trevor Ariza's checked in for prime time. And John Walls subbed in for insanity. Pass to Kobe. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Kobe's got six. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Washington calls timeout. Well, Kobe's never been shy about shooting. You know, a lot of people would argue that he gets maybe a little too shot happy sometimes, but you want a guy who's dominant. You want a guy who's not afraid. He's going to fail and just come right back and fire away the next time. Well, there's plenty to like about him as a player, but you know, one thing that really stands out is the quick trigger. He can catch the ball in space, defenders all over, but you know, in an instant, lets that shot go, and he is accurate. And another thing that stands out about him, Steve, he has the ability to score even with defenders draped all over him. He's so strong around the goal. And when you talk about Kobe's role offensively for the Lakers, it's worth mentioning last season it was one of his most efficient scoring the basketball. It really was. And you consider the turmoil that surrounded the Lakers all season. It was remarkable that Kobe was as even keeled as he was. Stay focused and start to finish. He delivered the type of all-star performance that he always does. Very impressive. Carmelo Anthony has checked in for the Lakers. Here's Maverick, covered by Wall. One fifty-eight left in the third quarter of the game. It's rebounded by prime time. Lakers trail by eight. And, you know, for the Lakers last season, there's a lot of turmoil. You think about the coaching change, but it wasn't just that. It was a whole system change as well. And the front office felt the Prince and the they started using wasn't working out. So they were in a state of flux all season long. That's good. Boy, they've come out of halftime just smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, partner. They are going to continue to let them fly. Ariza sends a screen for Wall. He passes the win. It's Ariza on the wing. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Ariza's got his first pass. And going back to the Princeton offense that Clark mentioned, Steve, tell us about that offense and, and why do you think it didn't work out? Well, they only gave it five games, Kevin. I mean, I, Mike Brown was one and four when he got fired. And, and that's impossible to install an offense and expect it to work that quickly. So, I mean, I think the offense would have been fine if they had given it time and given Mike Brown some time uh, to install it. Has to win. Back the wall. Lakers passing it around. Shot clock at six. Covered by Delphine. And Wall kicks to Anthony. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. 14 points for Carmelo Anthony. That's his first three-pointer of the half. Remember, he did make one in the first half as well. He just couldn't shake loose. He had the defender draped all over. 
There's a four second difference in the shot clock to the game clock. Wall dishes to Carmelo. Some solid defense from Perkins. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Off his leg, and they're saying he kicked the ball. 11 seconds left in the third. Here's Maverick. Here's Doc. It's off. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been... Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Wizards. Well, the great passing we saw in the first half has carried right over into the second. Something we've also seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to go down. Big points from outside. Anthony out there at prime time. Then there's Insanity. Then there's Kobe. And it's prime time, and it's the five. That's the Laker five. Clutch the pass to Doc. Maverick defended by Nguyen. Here is Doc. Takes the three. The Lakers with the rebound. Prime Time's got his seventh rebound here tonight. You know, they haven't been able to open up a big lead, but the rebounds are starting to add up for them. They may be able to pull away a little bit. Yeah, they've been doing the dirty work inside, Steve, playing a very tough brand of basketball. Just a fantastic game for Clutch. He's got 21 points, and he's played the role of the test today, too. I mean, he's caused a bunch of turnovers. And those steals are all the evidence you need of just how high his basketball IQ is. He really sees the floor well defensively. Lights out checked in for the Wizards. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Yeah, the defender draped all over him. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. Both free throws good from prime time. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Boy, look at the rebound totals. He is absolutely dominating out there. Well, that has been something to watch. My goodness. And here's Anthony for three. Shot is no good. Now Washington takes it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Here's a look at the schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Mavericks checked in for clutch. Lakers trailed by five. Kobe with it. Now defended by Doc. Here's prime time. That's it. Coming off an assist by Kobe. Kobe's got four assists now tonight. Smart. Use that big height advantage. Get the shot off. Well, it's hard to put a big man on him, Steve, that far from the hoop. I mean, he's versatile. It's Wall with the drive. Hooked away. Here is Doc. Covered by Wall. Passes it to Long. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. the pass to prime time. And that one's good. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. Pass to Don. Shoots the three. And again, Washington with the triple. That's two bombs in a row from long range. Yeah, shoddy defense there. Far too slow to react on the closeouts. And the Lakers call time here. Washington making some changes. Novak's checked in. And it's green in for Light's House. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thank you, Kevin. I was able to listen in on what Mike D'Antoni had to say to his team. With his team struggling from three-point territory, he told them to start looking for more high-quality shots inside the paint. We're forcing too many threes, he said. Stop with the bombs and work it inside. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He never gives up on a missed shot. He feels like everyone is his, and that tip in paid off for him. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. Oh, man, guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. 
Lakers trail by six. And there's the foul. It's on clutch. That will be foul number five on him. Kobe kicks the wall. Pulls it up. Again, Los Angeles. Washington with the ball. He kicks it to Nova. There's the three. And again, Washington with the triple. That's now a dozen straight points coming off wide open three pointers. You know what it looks like to me out there, guys? I mean, it looks like All-Star Weekend out there. We know how much defense is played there. It's actually defense during the All-Star Weekend, no deep. Here's Anthony again, Los Angeles. Just seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. It's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Taken away by Anthony. There's a screen. Here's the three. And it's Anthony again missing. Poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Lakers trail by five. Leads him in there. Prime time. And that one's good. Prime time's got eight points here in this quarter. Not much the defense can do once he gets to the bucket. Passes up to Matt. From downtown. A rebound by Kobe Bryant. Kobe's got three rebounds now in this one. It's Wall with the drop. Ball's not loose. Kicks to Carmelo. To the inside. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Anthony. Anthony's got four assists in the game. Here's Maverick. He dishes it to Nova. And out of bounds is the Lakers' game possession. Ben Sandy is set in for the Lakers. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're down by one. We've got 113 left in the game. Kendrick Perkins is checked in for Washington. Lights out comes in for Daniel Green. Kobe dishes to Carmelo. 107 left to play here on the fourth. Win the pass to Brown Time. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Well, those could be an important two points, too, guys, in a close game like this one. And there's a foul that's on clutch. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. That could have major consequences, Kevin. With this game still in question, it's really a tough time to lose it. This is where their depth becomes such an asset, Kevin. He's going for the remainder of the game, but fortunately, they're able to field a very capable replacement. Doc is checked in for clutch. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. And the call will be against prime time. That's his first foul. It was a tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happened. How about the effort we're seeing from him on the boards? He's already in double figures. Yeah, and more importantly, Steve, his rebounds are leading the team. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. About three seconds between shot and game clock. The pass to Doc. Right side, Russell. Here is Doc. Shot to stop the run. It's in! And, oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Oh, that is a massive shot. You know it is. He's stepping right into the spotlight. And the Lakers call time here. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth. Win the pass to Kobe. Prime time. No good. What determination. There was a lot of competition for that rebound, and he came away with it. 
time expires and we're going to overtime. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Well, if you love great competition and neck-and-neck -neck basketball action, this one has been a great one. Overtime number one. Getting going right now. So the Lakers win the tip. So the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup. Fourth foul in overtime. So the Wizards five right now. We've got a buckle. Maverick out there with Doc. Then it's Russell. And it's Long in at the three slot. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Maverick passes to Doc. And the Wizards hit again from deep. And those are not the kind of three-point opportunities you can give to shooters in the NBA. These guys are just too good. You're exactly right. It'll burn you every time, just like it's burning them here. Here's prime time. The offensive rebound. Win the pass to prime time. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Now, as we saw, four quarters not enough. We're just over a minute into overtime. They set the pick. Win the pass to Carmelo. Here's prime time. He's guarded by Russell. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Lakers lead by three. They definitely had the advantage inside. Another big grab a moment ago. Here's Maverick. Shot is off. Excellent D there from Primetime. Kobe attacking. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Huge turnover there and at a bad time, too. You have to value every possession. Wizards trail by three. Pass to Doc. Let's the three fly. And that one's good. Doc's got 24 points got to make a defensive adjustment here because he's just destroying them from three-point range. Well, even when they've closed out on him, Steve, he's not going to back. The feed to Carmelo. Yes! And the foul! It's going to be on Bill Russell. Defensively, I think they've got to do a better job of bodying them up. Yeah, they're getting outclassed in the paint at both ends, really. And as you said, that inside game so strong for them. Boy, that's right. And they need to keep the pressure on. I mean, that puts tremendous pressure on the defense when you're pounding them inside. A close game like this can be won or lost on the board. Wayne, the pass to prime time, makes it off the glass. Now it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity and getting results, too. It's a great formula, and it's really a sign that the offense is clicking. Here's prime time, and they will get the basket here, folks, as they will go ten. Talk about complete control, everything working in this one for prime time. He's got 15 rebounds, and also those active hands of his have led to a pair of steals. Yeah, Clark, he's had a great presence defensively. He's thrown off their rhythm on several occasions for the Wizards. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for us here. Green comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Maverick. From deep green. But they'll get another chance. Will it go? That doesn't go either for Green. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would see it. No question about it. That would be all she wrote. He hits the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. And so he drops them both. It's an iron point ball game here. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Knock the pass to Long. And again, Washington, no good. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. Well, this is going to seal the deal. They've really exploded here to the finish line. You know, once they sniffed out that blood in the water, the killer instinct came right out. 
Clark, they've shared the load offensively. Yeah, they've done a nice job with it, Kevin and Steve. I mean, everybody's touching the ball. There's a nice flow to what they're doing offensively. That right, makes it so much tougher to defend, too, when you have to account for all five offensive players, and the ball just moves so quickly. Tough to defend that. And Kobe drops them both. And here we go now with Jeremy Lin. And the officials call a traveling violation. You know, they can't afford to be playing so loose like that right now. Exactly. I mean, this is when they need to tighten things up, firm things up, be more focused, not the other way around. Stolen by Jeremy Lin. The shot's good from Doc. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. And so the Lakers take the win. You know, Clark, they couldn't put him away in regulation, but after a superb performance in overtime, they met.